recording a little bit different of a video tonight. Um, just something that sort of popped in our head as we were driving around today. Uh, we were thinking about pulse oxes, and I know we've always taught that with a pulse ox, we're supposed to remove the fingernail polish. And I can't say that I've been real good about doing that in, uh, in my practice, um, but I've never really had a problem with my pulse ox reading through somebody's fingernail polish. So while I have from time to time taken the time to remove it, um, I haven't found it to be a, a, a big problem yet. Um, but I was, I was looking at my wife's nails earlier. She does this sort of weird, sort of like multi-coat gel powder, I don't know, all dip, she's telling me, um, <laughs> with her nails, and it's pretty thick. So I was just wondering, would a pulse oximeter work with that type of a fingernail polish? And if it doesn't, what do we do about it? Because for her to remove the fingernail polish, she has to dip her fingers in some sort of chemical, some sort of nail polish super duper remover, and uh, take several minutes for it to be removed. So let's see what the pulse ox shows on her different fingers. We have one that is without any nail polish on it, and then she has three different colors. So this first finger has no nail polish on it at all, and you can see you're getting a pulse with it, and we are reading 99%, the pulse rate of 80 looks good. Now she's gonna switch it to the red, which I would think would not read as well. But I'm seeing a pulse reading, a little bit of a glitch there, it is having a little bit of a problem, but I'm reading 98 with a pulse rate of 80, 99. So it seems to work even through the red, which is the one color I expected it wouldn't. On the white, which being the absence of color, I think would uh, would work fairly well. Yep, didn't take as long there, 99%, pulse of 82. Now this blue, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it has a little bit of a shimmer or glitter to it. So let's see what happens with that one, because that may interfere with the light. Uh -oh. She's gonna move it over to the blue fingernail. And we're getting some wonkiness with it. Turned her finger sideways a little bit. It's still wonky. Doesn't look like it's gonna read at all on the blue one. Keeps resetting itself. So whatever is in that blue fingernail polish is not going to work. And if we had to take that off of all of her fingers or any one of her finger, I don't really know how we would do that in the back of the ambulance because it takes her about 10 or 15 minutes to take it off at home. And that's soaking her fingers. So that's an interesting problem we may run into. So just experimenting a little bit and I hope you find this useful. Okay, quick addendum. She got it turned far enough to the side of her finger that we were able to get a reading. So that may be what we'll have to do with these type of fingernails. It just took us uh, a couple of minutes of, of figuring with it to try to get it just right. So something to think about. 